Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop and another edition of Treat Especial. We get together in the Empire of Dirt in order to take a break from the pandemic pantomime, what haunts us all. Put the phone down, Karen. I mean, Prudence. Granted, it's early days and the data is spotty, but 9 out of 10 TV doctors conclude, anecdotally at least, that the virus is mainly spread via internet, face fuck, and the gargler, she ain't far behind. As a hoary veteran war horse of many overseas campaigns, I'm well versed in security theater, so I have dusted off my large gold hoop earrings and my Arabian night uh, diavanous veil in order to protect you, dear viewer, from my filthy humanity. <laughs> It's gonna be okay. Oh, it's not gonna be okay. <sighs> Fick dick, Air Bosch. good measure or bad depending on your preference I don't judge time the astute amongst us will note that this is some sort of fancy firing tool as witnessed by the pring and prong and so it take 220 volts of angry pixies out of the wall receptacle and also unbleached paper. Mother Earth Gaia, she's a demanding mistress. And what else you got here? You got a little dingle dangle and a son of a beats. Cheap set of, yeah, you recognize these from the Hazard Furt. Cheap set of bits, same, same, only different. Now this come out of Scamazon Deutschland uh, that don't look like no Hollywood denglish to me. It looks more like Sanskrit, Hindi or something like that. So there is some odd, but they've added a service directory here for us, luckily. So if we're anywhere near, we can go ahead and jump in our tuk-tuk uh, and go to Coimbatore or Al Alabad? Al Al oh, Fuck, another human rights tribunal. At least I'll get the frequent flyer miles. Having a wee boo at the outward countenance, you can tell you've been shuffled around more than a 40 year old D ranking stripper. <laughs> Never look him in the eyes. It's been back and forth on account of the shipping damage. Look at that, right out of the box. Kind of atrocious. And she's deader than a doornail. Well, we gotta get her charged it up before we flash it on, but before that, We'll get into her. And the reason I got this is, tis the season, it's, uh, <laughs> as the Duclaw said, son of a diddling thing, when the world is ends, I thought I would get some time off work, you know. When the end of days comes, you don't want to be working. Unfortunately, blue-collar tweakers the world over just fucking giving her for some reason. It's like, if you don't make stuff, you don't have any stuff. So... Anyone who has anything to do with the uh, creature comforts, generally, is critical. How's that fucking work? Well, I guess somebody's got to pay for the people sitting on their asses. Uh, I'm not pointing any fingers at bureaucrats, but uh, I'm still waiting for the federal government to give me a number so I can move my hay around. It's like the state doesn't want us to have agency over our own domains. Gonna make a heaven out of hell-earned wages? That's so last century. <laughs> what we want to do is smother you in the warm bosom of the nanny state. I'm going to charge it up a little bit. Now that I've handled it, the greebling's not too bad. It does have a pretty grippy uh, seb styrene and butylene. Won't be too good at solvents, but it'd be fine. You're putting together some hentai roboticized doll of uh, sweaty mitts. Yeah, not like a slip off and we might have a dead unit right off the hop here she doesn't appear to be chooching oh there's yeah ah pepcac 
and ID 10 T error, you apparently need to be smarter than the tool. I'm a little confoculated here. It's not a clamshell. It just comes off the back side and you tell it's Sherman 180 degree potentiometer on a scale of one to six. I don't know. I don't get why hexadecimal, but it seems to me all the speed controllers on the fine, any kind of German tool is always one to six. Some Teuton, please explain that to me. I'm a, a base 10 kind of guy, unless we're talking about fractions. And then, uh, you know, I'm all about the king's foot in your ear, but we got to squeeze this out, but I don't want to, I don't want to ruin anything unnecessarily. Okay, so that's got to come off. The piton. We'll just jam this O-ring pick right through the middle of my thumb. And genuine pot metal, you think you're dealing with the OG and it turns out to be Gentile after the bris performed. Genuine imitation metal. <laughs> it's plastique on that there uh, tip. A kind masked stranger in the doobly-doo shared this one. Fellow was born without eyelids, so they used his foreskin. The operation was a success, but he turned out a little cockeyed. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's got everything. It's got a harsh K sound. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. At the end, really sold it. That's her. This looks for all the world like high density polyethylene, but it feels quite stiff. It's probably, no markings on it, but it's probably nylon, glass filled nylon, a little bit of glass filling in there through the opacity, I would say. And a thermistor on the one battery. We got a LG, LG, AHB31865. Very simple, compact, optimized for compaction design. We got a, a pretty looking Defon switch here, that Chinese manufacturer with the French name. We have a ball mount IC chip. That's the brain boxery. Oh, that's the, um, the motor actually depresses up against the tactile switch or a kind of plunger in order to tell the thing to, uh, to chooch. And then the direction is indicated by the position of this switch and the speed indicated by the position of this. Oh no, this, that's not the brain box at all. Look at all the heat sink vias there. That is the MOSFET for switching, single MOSFET, and then a big diode to, um, once it stops, to let those angry pixies continue to flow and dissipate so that we don't get a huge voltage spike and fry everything in here. Here's the brain box. Surprising to me, we have a chip here that is not an Infineon or, or part of their ilk, a German made. It's a Sino Wealth. Wealth chip and lots of Celastic on here. We've really been seeing a lot more mitigation for uh, vibration and breaking at the connection point of these conductors in recent years and recent tools. The gearbox, of course, is a sintered metal gearbox and we should be able, well, look at the uh, the little hobby grade of motor, that's what's providing the, the torque or the speed and then gets changed to torque through the gearbox. Oddly to me, surprisingly, sintered metal gears. Not plastic and looks like a double reduction planetary gear set. You maybe clean off some of this detritus. Ah, you know, this whole mask thing, especially with uh, Emperor bobblehead, essentially, you know, the pretty frat boy going around now with a, a mask. It strikes me as the prince uh, leaving the palace grounds and uh, tiptoeing through the general masses wearing a, with a perfumed kerchief uh, to his nose in order to avoid the malaria. Beautiful, look at this. 
holy schlitz like three planetary gear reductions and a non-reversing clutch or a lockup clutch so that if the motor and gearbox don't have enough jam you can apply the old hulk rage and uh, get the fastener broken off and then apply the angry pixies a problem of course this time of year my right arm is worn right out uh, working on a scorching case of tendonitis not to mention the groaning cracking and creaking in my shoulder of portent of things to come i'm sure but uh I, i'll just gloss over that until i couldn't possibly move it and then we'll go and take advantage of the universal health care yet again sorting the fly shit from pepper with boxing gloves on uh, you know what's going to help getting into teeny tiny tight spots keeping your bits in place grease this predates them fancy colored scented greases oh yeah smell that get a whiff mmm hydrocarbons I gotta back that mask rant up uh, discretion being the better part of valor partner you want to wear your religion on your head give her this year you want to wear a hefty bag on your head so that the uh, passions don't get inflamed from the people around you that's your deal fucking give her but don't hector other people into well clutching on to your moral authority don't fucking hector me i'm a grown-ass man yes karen you are at the absolute forefront of averting a global zombie apocalypse by wearing your raggedy ass 10 day old chinesium respirator and subway sandwich artist gloves that's weird i can't get this to lock in oh Ha, ha, ha. If it don't fit, wiggle a little bit, blame it on Grandpa. She's in. Locked it. Beauty. Who knew? She don't go, you need a little extra manual stimulation, and then uh, Bob's your auntie. Wah, wah. Aha. That goes in the gearbox. Maybe that's why it wouldn't. This is technically known as a we tink thrust washer because that's the uh, sound it makes as it flies over your shoulder into the fucket bucket we tink yeah admit it you were waiting me to twist it right off the time has come for ye old smoke test although Cheated just a titty bit. On account of it being tested while it was disrobed. Cont contact. It works. It's for a kink. I just got a pez le piton back on there. Hmm. Or not. Hmm. <coughs> Tabbed with some hooks. There we go. That's funny, there's a delay while the brain box decides whether or not to uh, chooch. That might drive me bananas, being as how I'm so fastidious about uh, all things mechanical, as plainly illustrated. Now, this is antithetical because it's doesn't have nearly the torque you we require however when you certain times a year you get to a certain age you get gimped up the, the old arm from work i swear i'm not a farmer but i swear farming is essentially moving shit from one place to another and back again so the the main grabbing arm gets tired and, and, and sore and i could see this if you have arthritis or you have a repetitive movement you got to do this could just be the cock for dolly and i'm hoping that uh springtime this will help out uh, quite a bit just for uh, mild adjustments and so forth you know certain times of year well it's predictable right ski season 
it's the knees and the shoulders fucked. Springtime, it's the forearm and the shoulders fucked. Summer, it's the neck from the downhill mountain biking and the shoulders is fucked. Oh yeah, that ain't bad. That ain't bad. Oh, you have to reset though. It won't go on the fly. I'm not sure I like that because you disengage. I'd rather it just go on the fly. Oop. <laughs> that might not be a, a fault. It might be a feature. Jeez, you got to grip that thing proper wise. It'll fly right out of your hand. Yeah, see? So you got to back off so that it resets that little switch. But the problem is when you back off, even with the superior gripping power of a Robertson, sometimes comes out. Oh yeah, that's, you know, putting up a bunch of lights and stuff, all that finicky shit. Now, yeah, and we can give it a little extra tweak as well. Battery's dying on me, I only got it up to about one bar. But considering that's just one 18650 cell, that's pretty torquey. Definitely enough to put together a flat pack IKEA mobility scooter for yours truly. There you have it, the Borsch. What's it's who's it's? What would this be called? A power driver? Power screwdriver? So thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice. Also, uh, sorry about the rant. <laughs>